Anna, thank you. I will cut you. Welcome back, and welcome to How to Not Solve Monster Problems Dice Functionals Monster of the Week game. I am the Keeper, Story Weaver, I guess, and God, I, I'm the Grim Reaper tonight. I really want to know how my characters fuck it up this badly. <laughs> <laughs> Into some quick analysis. Uh, session three is up now, and session four will be up sometime over the weekend. We had a little bit of delay because of some tech issues. But it's all sorted now. And of course, session five should be up at usual time, Michelle. I mean, it'll be up uh, before the next one. It'll be That's up. That's the important thing. <laughs> Real quick, I'm just going to give you a recap, even though we ended the last mystery, just in case you missed. So that way you kind of got an idea of what everyone's coming into. So, Sheriff, and, Sheriff Mercy and Blueberry the Monster, dead. The Doctor, mysteriously gone. The mayor, very confused. Sam, ecstatic that he's right. Patrick Stacey, wake to heaven. Players, absolute confusion at angels. Hi. Pikachu plushie, perfect. Ollie's life status, still kicking, but he really tried to die, didn't they? Uh, Jody covered in gross monster goo. Waylon's cool magic band-aids that joined life and made him look a little bit young. Lizard's telekinetic and didn't know everyone else wasn't. And Mariella, the ultimate mom, panicking and doing emergency first aid in the middle of a fight. The festival, over and enjoyed. Everything's fine. And the mysterious woman, Emma, disappeared into the night. And friendship with the spooky squad, secured. <laughs> that is the quick rundown. But before we get into the actual game, just a little quick aside for all the listeners and viewers. Because I've already explained this to the players, but how between the mysteries work. Essentially, it is just a between the, uh, between the arcs, kind of like fillers, but some of the stuff in it's got of important plot details, some of it's just fun. It's a moment to relax, give characters some time to explore themselves a little bit more that's not in the middle of a mystery, where things are a little tense. There will be three events at minimum. One of them is a required event, one of them they can roll on a chart, another one they can choose or roll on another chart. It is completely up to them if they roll twice or once, etc., etc., but there will be one guaranteed event that is important for plot details later. And I play as all now currently back home in their gated community in somewhere, Florida, surrounded by their neighbors and each other. Now, I asked Jill before the game to give me a number. So I'm going to real quickly. Seven. She said four. <laughs> you heathen. She said seven first. She did because she didn't know it was on a scale of one to six. I'm going to roll this real quick. Five. I rolled a one, which means it was Becca, because Becca was who was about one. Becca, oh, okay. you have well, you want to do? No, I completely forgot we were doing this. That's I have fine. nothing planned. That's fine. Then, real quick, roll me 2d6. Okay. Oh, that's what I need. I need dice. Eight. I oh. rolled two fours. <laughs> I'm going to... just in everything. Hey, Jill, this one is one you're involved in. Lizard and Brody yeah. build a set for a TikTok video. <laughs> Bonding? <laughs> you recruit me because you're trying to see if I'm going to still. <laughs> so, you guys are sitting in the backyard of Lizard's little house area. It's not a very big backyard, but it's still a big enough backyard you guys can work. And Lizard, being Lizard, has done something to recruit you, Jody. Lizard, what are you building? Uh, <laughs> mm. I, you know, it's a set for a TikTok, but it's one of those shelves because Lizard has plants because it's witch talk, you know, uh, one of those, they look like a ladder, but it's like shelves going up. Oh, like basically like just step. like, yeah, but like big. Okay. But like too big. <laughs> like about 30 foot high. Are we small? Like... <laughs> perspective, yeah. <laughs> it's all about perspective. Um, I feel like Lizard would just initiate a conversation while all the work was happening. Lizard is holding a drill. Um, that's it. 
<laughs> That's uh, all you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> holding it. <laughs> Occasionally going. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I was reading a book. I wasn't. I was on the internet. There is this video about the moon. Just for prop sake. Drill. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> um, I was watching this video about the moon. How do you, how do how do you, how do you feel about the moon? How do I feel about <laughs> the moon? Just general like feelings. Does it make you angry? I mean, it's very pretty. It's I mm -hmm. often mm -hmm. have to go work on full moons. <laughs> Huh. Lizard is writing things down on the notes app <laughs> <laughs> on their phone. I don't know. It's, I, I it's guess so it looks cool. nice. It's uh, Usually it's more visible uh, at night when the, the full moon is out and there's not any clouds, so that makes my job easier too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, do you like uh, a cat person or a dog person? I'm a plant person. Oh. Me too, but if you had if you if you, uh if you had to pick a dog or a cat. I I guess a cat, uh since I'm away from home so much, you know, I I, I wouldn't be able to give a dog the attention it needs. Uh I've shown you Lulu, right? My succulent. I uh, you know No? But I have a, I have a whole family of succulents, and I oh, have one what? of those. I don't. <laughs> they sit in my front window. I usually use them for props, uh, but you know they're all forms of the name Jeff. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but you know sometimes you just have to have an army of Jeffs at your disposal. Oh, that makes sense. I get that. Are you gonna, like, help me drill, or am I just doing everything myself? Uh... Do I just pick a spot? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can! Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah. We're all 2d6. Okay. <laughs> Um, lizard ghost. Sure. <laughs> oh no! I had to move all my other dice. I have every D6 I own in my same dice box. Okay, so two? I would say Jill, but I have like so many in the dice box that I'm using, so I feel that. Okay. Um, total five, six, seven, eight. Total of eight. I, right. lizard, as you go over to help her, you trip over your own feet and you end up smashing into the bottom board not breaking oh. it but making a very loud noise and dropping the drill and from a across the little little finch you hear honey are you okay i don't think the drill went through anything important and you guys watch <laughs> as a, you can see what looks to be a basket held over the top and goes Take my basket so I can climb over and check on you. And it's filled with fruits and vegetables. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you see an old woman just fling herself over top of this fence. She must uh, be damn, in her uh, 70s. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> she kind of brushes herself off. Straightens her shoulders up. Definitely someone of Cuban descent. She's t very tan from being out in the sun all day. She's got silver hair that's tied back in a tight ponytail. She is very short. She's about 5'3". Taller than me. Uh, <laughs> she's got these very kind hazel eyes and so many wrinkles. She looks at you and goes, Now, Lizard, do you really have yeah. Jody helping you build sets again for your internet career? And oh, yeah, it's I... okay. I like to build things. <laughs> Usually, they're smaller. Do you prefer I did though. it by myself? Louisa size. As you know, this is your neighbor, Louisa Martinez. She is to the side of you on the other side from where the millers are. Mm -hmm. Very nice old woman, as you know, and her family is three generation of women in that household. 
All of them, very prominent women. Two of them escaped abusive relationships. The oldest, the daughter, who is the youngest there, is currently finishing up grad school. Louisa just kind of looks at you and goes, You sure you're building that shelf right? Do you doubt me? I'm, I'm not doing anything. She kind of walks over and sets the basket down on the bottom shelf. Have you been letting her do the drilling? <laughs> no. She's just going to shake her head and hold out her hand for the drill. Lizard hands it over, but not happily. She looks at it and then hands it to you, Jody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and in my own backyard. Then she's going to kind of lean against the wall beside where you guys are building and go, you two were gone for a while. Yeah, we had a little road trip. We went and saw a, a, a blueberry festival. Oh, well, you could have stayed here. You know I have plenty of blueberries going. Yeah, but it's not a festival, you know? Sometimes you just gotta, like, see more of the world. It's good for kids to get out. And she's gotta look at you, Jody, and then look at Lizard and go, Are you calling, are you calling that one a kid? Because I would agree with that. Yes? I am a fully functioning adult person. I live in my house and I make my own food. Do you really, though? Uh, how many days a week does it count? Six. If I... I rescind my former statement. I make food maybe twice a week. It's a good thing your neighbor takes care of you some days. Bless her heart, yep. Mariella. It's very nice. And make sure I don't die. And she's gonna turn back to you, Jody, and go, I really wanted to thank you for couple nights ago when you guys had first gotten back. I know you are just coming back from that long trip, but walking the neighborhood makes me feel safer knowing you're there. I love my job. <laughs> and she kind of laughs and goes, you don't have to lie, sweetie. And she sets the basket oh down my God. and goes, this is for you two. Take what you want from it. And it's all fresh vegetables and fruit. Oh, and fuck. she's going to walk back around to the other side of the fence, leaving the basket full of food. And if I'm going to assume Lizard's going to dig through it immediately. Oh, absolutely. You will find For sure. Pastries that she intentionally put down there with a note that says, Planning on bringing this over, and you get, and I finally found an excuse. Ah. As you guys know, it is not uncommon for Louisa to give a lot of baked goods to everyone in the neighborhood. Lizard's munching. <laughs> Uh, Jody, because you said there are like vegetables in there too. Um, she'll take those for later. Or right now. Lizard writes that down. <laughs> Enriching my dog. Vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for a quick test to see how nice this looks. Back at you, you owe me 2d6. Seven. It's coming along, but it's going to need more work in the long run. It's definitely a good enough start for you to be able to paint and make your set. Success. And we got snacks. <laughs> I like the, the idea of it being that awkward, like, okay, the, the shelf is done now. <laughs> it's like, well, um, we could make some TikToks together if you want to be in my TikToks. I am, I am not clear on what a TikTok is. <laughs> <laughs> You've done your expertise for today. Now it's my time. Now it's my time. Okay, so TikTok, and then Lizard fully explains in great detail what TikTok Thank is. You. <laughs> <laughs> I was not about to sit down and explain TikTok. Right. Thank you. So I rolled another die with one to four. Ended up being on Jill. So Jill rolled 2d6. 
<laughs> I was I was gonna take a break nope, and take a the drink. The dice shows you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I uh, total five. Just sitting in your room the night after all of this happened. Just kind of relaxing, scrolling through TikTok on your phone, checking your numbers. When FaceTime comes up, and you see it's your mom. Oh, swipe! What's up? I'm still alive. <laughs> your mom Basira kind of laughs at that. Honey, I would hope you were still alive if you were answering your phone. I mean, you never know. I, you know, I got, I know ghosts now, so. You used to say that as a kid, too, though. I know more ghosts now. Well, at least it's not just your grandmother and your imaginary I've... friend. No. Yeah, imaginary friend. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Well, how's it going? Your mom talked to me this morning and she realized you haven't been down to visit in a long time. We're getting worried about you, sweetie. I, well, it, I've been busy, you know. Uh, I mean, I was on vacation. Oh, that's nice. Went to Blueberry Festival. Do you eat any good food? Uh, donuts. Doing and bread that changed my life. Um, <laughs> I think I met God, but you know, I'm not too sure on that one. Sweetheart, I've learned not to question some of the things you say, and this is one of them. Well, when do you think you could come down again at some point? <sighs> See, I my schedule's packed. Um, I gotta make TikToks tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. Is this required? Do you want me to come? I you know. No, we were just trying to figure out because we're always leaving too we haven't seen you in so long i mean and with work dragging us everywhere we realized i don't think we've seen you since last christmas sweetheart hey wait, maybe you see me this christmas Ooh, that's far away um if you ever want to see me my tiktok is Ozer king 69 and it posts daily oh wait this is there's a barrier here. Okay, never mind. You're my mom. Don't follow my TikTok. You know as well um, as I do. Daisy watches every TikTok you post. It's always the first like. <laughs> always. Anyway, um, I'm doing great. I'm really independent, and I don't miss you guys at all. Sweetheart, Not even a little you bit. You're always a horrible liar. <laughs> Not why. Mm hmm. Anyway, I could probably come up, like, in this weekend or something. Well, just make sure you tell if us- If you guys aren't busy. Well, that's why I was asking you, because we gotta schedule it. Work's been pulling us to a few different institutions, looking for recruits. You know, I used to question what you guys did, but now I've realized... You're probably never gonna tell me, so, you know, at this point... It's not a good- You guys- It's huh? not good money. It's not- not mm. you could join tiktok they're social workers <laughs> god damn it gotta shut up <laughs> oh wait no they're teachers oh Ooh. Ouch. ow that specifically Ouch. hurts me my dad worked in the school <laughs> i can make the joke well lizard i do want to tell you something important though before we go in case i haven't said it recently yeah i know we mentioned your grandma a minute ago She'd be so proud of you seeing you do stuff, creative work. She always wanted us to go into the creative fields, but your mother and I, we didn't have enough money at the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're proud of Thank you, you, right? Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you for that. Anyway, I have to go make lunch! <laughs> it's... Really hard. It's midnight, sweetheart. I know. <laughs> I haven't eaten today. <sighs> do you need your big egg? Do you need what? money? No. May well, no. Maybe. Okay. You let us know. know what's going on. You have a good night, sweetheart. <laughs> you too, love. Uh... As you hang up, that little voice in the back of your head that tells you when someone's lying, you remember... Mm -hmm. As she says, we don't make that much money. She pays half your bills. 
Ding. Lie detector. Does your, does your lie detector mm. have to sound like an air horn? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What? Roll two d six. Ah, then. I'm not gonna roll that on my drawing pad. That's a bit. I like that. All right, there it is. I found my thing. Oh shit! It got stuck. Oh, <laughs> twelve. <laughs> Hey, Ollie. Yeah. Do you ever wonder what it's going to be like to go to a hardware store with Waylon? Oh. <laughs> I haven't specifically wondered Joke's that. Joke's on you. I worked in one. <laughs> Waylon, you're going to look for stuff to build weapons out of. Oh, that's And you've easy. decided to take Ollie since the last mission went so well. I'm, I mean, it did go really well. To be fair, well, I'm just not good at Nobody going. died. I'm, look, nobody ever taught me how to Oops. build improvised explosives out of Coke bottles. That was a spur of the moment thing. It was a decent enough idea. Really, there are a few things you could probably do with the stuff you can get, uh, what's this, Home Depot? Something like that? Sure. Pick a hard West right. or it doesn't matter which one. They all exist down well, here. I, the ones I know are like Avashan and Ace. So. I mean, there are Ace hardwares down here. Okay. Sorry. So, we're talking about uh, stuff you can build to protect yourself. Then, uh, one of the best things, and honestly, probably one of the easiest, is if you can get a hold of one of those M80s that you used last time. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you get that and a chunk of PVC about uh, yay big, two okay. end caps, and then you stuff it full of nails, and uh, well, you got yourself what's known as a fat bomb. Oh yeah, uh, played that in that. Uh, gosh, was that old game they had um, uh, Left for Dead Two? I think I, I saw somebody streaming that the other day. It's this older game, kind of a retro feel to it. Um. Yeah. Don't know what I, you're talking about, kid. Yeah. Don't know yeah, what you're I, talking about at all. They had these pipe bombs that they would throw. It was actually like a pipe. I was kind of confused. Okay, so that's that's well, where that's they get exactly that from. what it is. Okay. It provides explosives. Okay. There are a few other things you can probably make using. Mm, I think fertilizing some other things. I'd have to double check my copy of the. Uh, Actually, I probably shouldn't mention that to you. Uh, so. Okay. But past that point, uh, really, nothing wrong with an axe, machete, something like that. Decent enough as an improvised tool. Mm. As yep. you're walking around, a woman walks up to the two of you, looking into your cart... And just kind of gives you a nervous look and goes, Hi, do you guys need any help? Nope. Well, I mean, you could point us in the direction. Um, so, my uncle, he's helping me to... I'm trying to build a really cool shed out back. Um, I have this project for school, and it's this whole thing, and it's just my mom. Um, and my dad left and I haven't had anyone to teach me how to make things well. Um, and my uncle was really nice. He came all the way down from Alaska to help me out. Um, so we just, if, if you could, we were looking for, and all these kind of look into Wayland, like help me out here. <laughs> what are we looking, looking for? A few, looking for a few things. The um, the shed's planning on being something like a work area. So we're looking to set up a something akin to a drainage area in case of, uh, you know, any kind of uh, things need to be drained away, like water mostly. It's occasionally used in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not milling. Uh, it's when you put something on a tool that spins it very quickly and occasionally use it to 
what's the word? Lathe, that's it. Basically, we're looking for stuff to uh, help make it uh, drain out properly, as well as a few other bits of hardware. Alright. Hmm. Well, then, I would start in aisle three. And she's going to look at you, Ollie, and put a hand on your shoulder and go, I hope you do well on your project, and walk away. Thank you. And the lady from over your shoulder goes, you are such a little shit. I'm yep. so proud of you. Thank you. I thought that was a good one. <clears throat> All right. Um, All right. Boy. Lead the way. Yep. So a quick and, cut and, in. And, and as we're moving away, Quaylen's going to go, Oh, I'm happy you managed to make that one fly because if you didn't, I'd be arrested by now. Yep, that was the plan. Uh, a quick cut. What do you mean that was the plan? <laughs> the plan was to avoid us getting arrested. That is no us in that situation. Uh, it's always the plan is us. Uh, again, us getting arrested. I don't want to be implicated in anything. We lost the show. Uh, uh, I can't quick. believe my mom disappeared now too. If you guys it's so are. Awkward. You guys can make up to two weapons while you are here that you can uh, use going forward. I'm assuming you're keeping the pipe bomb. Um, uh, we could, uh, like, the pipe bomb's doable. The only other thing I had in mind was, like, caltrips. Which, in fairness, there are two ways you could do that. And Connor is about to show his um, uh, mischievous side. Um, you could either do it by using nails and manually bending them, which would suck, or screws if you want to be a real dick. Um, or you could actually buy the stuff that they use for stopping birds from climbing on trees and roofs, um, which is horribly mean, but it would work. Mm -hmm. uh, past that point. I don't have any good ideas. Chase, have you got something? You have an entire hardware store. Yeah, no, I, I know that's that's the problem. It's the idea is picking something portable though, is kind of the thing. Um, actually, I have a terrible idea. Um, hey, hey, Waylon. Um, yeah. Ha, so I was playing this. So I was playing this game. Uh, it's a little bit more retro. Uh, it's. It's called Half Life. Um, you have your fucking mouth right now, Jace. Um, <laughs> Piece of shit. I'm saying this because, listen, got to play the character. They um, made a Black Mesa remake very recently. Okay. Listen, I remember playing. <laughs> I remember playing two when it like pretty much first came out. Okay. Yeah. So did I. Yeah, I know. You remember I that know. Jace is older than I you. have. I so still. Just throwing, I still own just the orange results. box. I'm playing, listen, I'm playing a 16 year old. Calm the fuck down. Um, <laughs> it's because Jace is so deliberately, like, <laughs> trolling you, and it's amazing. Oh my God. It's working. Okay. So I was playing this game, and in this game, they have this weapon that essentially uses gravity to throw saw blades. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that we don't have anything that can manipulate gravity. No. But. What if we made a slingshot and bought a bunch of saw blades and put that somewhere where we could pop it out in the RV just in case? All right, that's a bit above my pay grade. I'm just going to be totally honest there. You'd be better off finding the stuff to make. Uh... Well, actually, there's some you can probably look up on the. Uh what is it the uh, youtube or whatever it is um uh for hunting game they actually make slingshots uh and what mm -hmm. you use is ball bearing um and basically you can make it out of stuff like pvc uh, maybe some metal if you're looking for it but that's some surgical tube and nice little pocket and you got a pretty dangerous little weapon um okay i'm just mentioning it because i think it'd be a good idea to give to someone i don't necessarily trust with a gun. Like, say, Lizard, right now. It's probably a safe call, yeah. The lady Aside goes from... near you. Doesn't all of you have guns? 
We actually might all have guns. I didn't think about that. There's always better. There's more weapons. I'm not discouraging that. But yeah. I'm saying, not trusting Wizard. They've already got a gun. It's kind of like keeping a gun from you. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Hey, Waylon. Mm. Speaking of YouTube, there was this channel that I was watching. Are you going to mention um, the Slingshot channel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Even better. I'm going to give Jess some fun here. Um, so this guy, he, he decided that he was going to do something for the zombie apocalypse where he made a bunch of homemade shotgun shells. And there were some really good ideas in there. And a lot of stuff, this stuff that we can find here. Do you think you could get your hands on a shotgun? In theory, I've got a yeah. license. Then again, Jody probably has something like that. Probably. It's certainly doable. I could certainly look into something of the sort. Okay. Well, there's I did actually have one other idea. Okay. I'm not 100% the best at it, but I, I have a little bit of know-how with the electronics. And there's some pretty bright flashlights out here. Mm -hmm. So my thought was you take a flashlight or a couple, you wire them all up together, you put a little bolt on it, and you make it uh, flash and strobe repeatedly. In pitch black, pretty disoriented. Very. I can make things pretty dark around wherever it is too, so that that would only increase the effectiveness. Just an idea. That might be better than, you know, keeping people from existing gets gets a little messy at times. That's also part of the reason why I yeah. mentioned it. Yeah. Think shot. You know, you could always just use rubber. Or a piece of wood. Or a piece of rebar. <sighs> All right. With some fins. I like this idea. Uh, let's go with uh, if we if we get us we can we can get like a really high powered slingshot, right? You, you can if we're going to like I should break character for a bit. I'm yeah. pretty confident you can buy a hunting slingshot. You can. Oh, yeah. Um, and they, they come in two varieties. They, they come in varieties where it's a slingshot where you actually have ball bearings or uh, bullets or, mm -hmm. or slit shot. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, shot. And then they have variations that actually have a rail on them for, for arrows. Mm -hmm. So um, I am so looking yeah. at them right now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's scary. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so really, I... I'm more partial towards we doing like a slingshot, slingshot. Yeah. Because then, if we have to, you can put something not in it. Yeah. You, know, you don't necessarily have to put a metal ball in it and kill somebody. Yeah. Um, that'd be my only suggestion on the slingshot part. Uh, quick point of reference: if you chose the slingshot and did bring non-lethal weapons with it, so things you could use. I would allow that as a, like, if you're trying to take a minion hostage as okay. a thing that you can do to help. Just yes, they're called minions. That's what the doctor, the sheriff, and the... <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> they're called minions. That is the oh, Lily. The best part about this is that Jill's webcam <laughs> freaked out as she was going towards the camera, so I just see Jill going... <laughs> Regardless, I, I would give it to you guys as non-lethal force for non-monster. Okay. That's uh, we could do we could do that and the the flashbang. Yeah, I, my my thoughts are on the I, whole flashbang yeah. thing is that it's it's not something that's gonna work for long. <laughs> no. Well, uh, I mean the other thing too is with a lot of those flashing lights. I mean you can get them. Like you can buy those and I own one. It, I mean, yeah, it only, I mean, it only, if it's pitch black, it only takes a good about five seconds 
looking at that thing or having that flash around you for you to be just out for a good 20 to 30 so yeah your eyes fucking suck after that yep so really i'm i've got no i think that would be a decent enough idea i like it again you could we could buy a flashlight like that yeah so slingshot and uh ingredients for flashbang yeah it's just strobing flashlight flashbang minus the magnesium powder yeah Uh, and some rebar can we just just no come on I will I mean, say this, yeah. one of you <laughs> two after game will have to explain the slingshot mechanics to me a little bit so I can make the weapon tags. Got it. Yeah, I can do it. But the the flashbang, is, we'll just say when you use it, you can get like 30 seconds of a stunned enemy. That's fine. All right. Yes. As you guys leave, the woman sees you got chill. Sorry, I just looked at that picture. As you guys leave, the woman sees you and she gives you a little wave and kind of looks at your card again and gets a confused look and just shakes her head and goes back inside. Oh, good. It's Florida. Next They've seen weirder. More questions. All right. We're down to two for the first round of Between the Mysteries. And just the confused people, we throw some duct tape and rope. <laughs> Plastic bags. Hey, Michelle, odds or evens? Odds. Zero. It was an even, so Jace. Yeah. Unless you specifically have a scene, I have one picked out for you for your chosen mystery. Uh. Because everyone has one guaranteed one, and this would be your guaranteed. Um. Would this take the place of my guaranteed one? No, this would just be another one. You all have guaranteed ones that have to happen no matter what for plot reasons. Okay. Um. I guess it is kind of the Ollie's next level up. Um, Ollie has an idea that he wants to work on uh, right. for a spell. Um, essentially, it would create. <laughs> so Ollie wants to work on using shadows to specifically pull in shadows to create a bubble with him at the center, an impenetrable bubble with him at the center. Where are you gonna go to train at this? Um, literally gonna go to either one of the areas with the hill or a quarry, um, and literally jump and try and make the bubble. Not from like death height, but like enough to where if uh, I if I fuck this up, actually, well, it, it would start short. It would be like, all right, we're gonna jump like a three or five foot drop, um. Right. But well, then, first... you know, it, once it gets pretty good, I'm going for like a 15 foot drop and I want to see how this works. Okay. Uh, let's roll real quick. Use magic. Okay. So it's put 2d6 plus yep. weird. That's 8 plus my weird, which is 2, so 10. I was going to do a fucking. Oh. <laughs> on, your, on your first little jump, you get this bubble no problem. You okay. literally do one of those little twists in places as you jump and you feel the darkness go around you and the light fades and as you hit the ground again the bubble stays for a moment and then breaks okay that's cool and she goes yeah it's like you're shrouded well yeah we're, we're, we're working on the the shroud i'm working on the shroud too but this is something where if if something's coming at us I can either block, like, when we got thrown, I'm thinking either I can use this to break my fall, or, like, I could grab a few people in it, and if something's coming at us, like, stop it from hitting. It would certainly make your mother calm down some. You got really hurt in that last fight. Yeah, that that was not fun. I've been worse, though. All right. Let's go for the second jump. It's a little bit higher. All right. Ollie's going to do a five-star frog splash and just land straight oh, on his face. Good. That's a three plus. I called two. it. That's a five. That, this is how you kill someone. <laughs> uh, like I said, we're not doing any experience for the Between the Mischief. Yeah, no, I know. So, Ollie, as you go to jump, the bubble forms around you and you see it. And it's awesome. And you fall and hit the side of the bubble hard. 
the bubble is still solid and you're you're stuck there for a minute and the bubble pops and you hit the ground a, a second time. Oh, okay. 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 The, okay. the lady's leaning over you. Do it again, but maybe this time don't mess it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside, not as malleable. Got it. Got it. Okay. Actually, no, I find insides to be very malleable. No, the... <sighs> it was too malleable. I hit the inner wall. Oh, you mean the bubble. Yeah, the inside of the bubble needs to be malleable. But not as malleable as I had it. Okay. Jace, this is a genuine question and not a smart-ass comment. Yep. Does Ollie still have some of his baby teeth <laughs> at 15? No. Okay. No. It's going to suck when he loses a couple oh, doing yeah, this dumb yeah, shit, yeah. isn't it? It's No, it won't happen. I'm I'm so I would be surprised if Ollie isn't missing one of his adults. For, for a there. quick reference to why I say that, uh for reference, Ollie has very clear skin for a 15-year-old and is in surprisingly good shape. Oh God! It's like the orphan. <laughs> there's a little, there's a little bit of that vibe in there. Just oh God! Oh, he's actually a 53 year old man with dwarfism. Jesus no, Christ! No, no, nothing like that. Have any of y'all seen that movie? That's the yes. twist. Yeah, no, that. Yeah, I know. I've never seen it, but I know that's what the twist yeah. is. Oh, what'd you roll this time, Jace? Oh uh, no, I haven't rolled yet. That's a 10 plus two for 12. Oh, sick. You, remembering from your mistake last time, jump this and take a deep breath and you feel the bubble form around you and your feet hit it, the bottom, but you feel the bubble sink to the ground safely. And then pop. All right. All right. Should we call someone to make sure if you get hurt, you're not, like, alone? We've literally never done that before. And... No, you've also never been that hurt before. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's always been... We've always been fine. We figured it out. Alright, then go ahead and do the 20-foot jump, then. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Six plus two is eight. So you make the jump and you make the bubble. But it doesn't go how you expect it to. Because as you start to do the descent that the bubble's supposed to. It it pops, but you kind of in, you feel it wanting to. And you anticipate it and you hit the ground. And like a way to not hurt your joints. For yourself. Like roll out of it. Yeah. Probably in above my butt. Just sitting there like She's okay. leaning over you again. Hmm. Maybe the 30 okay. foot would work better. Maybe you're not getting enough air. Oh my god. <laughs> we we could that one was a little sketchy, and I'm trying to save this for more emergencies. Let's do it. The 30 foot or the 20 foot again? 30 foot. All right. Uh, here we go. I didn't know characters could die so easily. <laughs> That's another six plus two is eight. Same situation. You get the bubble started and you can feel it start to pop and you hit and roll. Okay. For reference, you need to make another full success in order for you to learn the skill at this point. Okay. 40 feet! 40 feet! <laughs> Alright, I'm doing that 30 feet again. L like, let, Let's go. I, I got it this time. No, fuck it. Go, go to 50! Yeah. Come on! Let's do it! Go to 50 feet! You know, it's just the height that people die at when they fall. Yep. Nope. That's... Let's go. 4 and 3 is 7. I fucking Four, did three, it. 3 is 9. Ah! <laughs> uh! This time as you go, when the bubble pops, you see flashes of shadows of people in the corners of your eye that just catch you for a minute and then they're gone. Damn it! Oh, I almost fucking had it that time. 
I think you just need to keep going bigger. Every time you go bigger, it works. <sighs> Fuck it. Sure, let's go 40 feet. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Also, real quick, who were those people? What people? Did you see? Did the you one not... in the corners? Yeah. The people shadows. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. That's 11 on the die, plus 2, 13. As you do it this time, there's a wave of satisfaction and recognition that waves through you. And you feel for a minute, it's all, it's yours. But it's also the ladies' moment. And when you hit the ground again, with the bubble safely around you, and it vanishes, she looks at you and goes... I remember that. It's how we escaped the tower in 05. 05? I, I think it's AC, BC. I don't know. I get your years really confused. B. B. So, so there's AD, which is where we're at now. And then there's BC. Which is way, way, way long ago. Like, yeah, like, before the internet. Yeah. I don't have solid memories of it. I'm oh. still missing things. Was it, but... was it like the Bronze Age? Mm -hmm. Was there, was there lots of bronze weapons and the Spartans? Maybe. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It was only a flash. What was the tower made of? Stone. Were there windows? Like there were, glass windows? There wasn't glass, but there was wooden, like... Shutters? Shutters. Hmm. Huh. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, well... It is. Maybe we can, like, meditate sometime and think about it. Yeah. Let's get you home. Yeah, yeah. Bef yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, and we'll write that up later. Mariella! Do, Hello. Do you have a scene you want to do, or would you rather no. roll? Just roll. Alright, give me 2d6. Okay, hold on. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. I have my dinner sitting beside me, so I feel that. Just taunting me. Nice. Controller. I also rolled a 12. <laughs> hey, Becca, you might want to come back in. The tag I have written on this is Mariella catches Jody watching her as she gardens. <laughs> because as you remember, Jody's job has to been to keep an eye on Mariella because something is weird. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Nothing escapes the Cuban eyes. So, to give you a quick point of reference, your garden is in your front yard. It's more of a flower garden than a vegetable one, but you got a couple zucchinis near the house, a couple cucumbers on the other side. Close enough so they don't cross pollinate. I think they can. I know squash and zucchini can. Yeah. Regardless, you're just sitting working there. It's pretty hot out today. Out of the corner of your eye, you can see Jody sitting outside on her front porch, but she's very obviously not reading what's in front of her, but watching you. I'm gonna go over. <laughs> <laughs> you have a book. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's just she kind of just like gets up, drops her stuff, and just kind of stomps over. It's like da -da -da -da. why? Da -da -da. Huh? Push his book down. <laughs> why? Why what? I've just been reading. <laughs> you're very bad at that, you know? But you're very bad at the whole acting like you're doing something when you're not doing. You're very bad. I'm 
a teacher. I know when people are faking. I was... It's not the first time. This is just the time I want to talk to you about it. This is not the first time. You're staring at me constantly. It's very weird. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's, I'm just very intrigued by your daily going around. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Did I mention the part where I'm a teacher for teenagers? And I also have a teenage son? AKA, I know when people are bullshitting me? Yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I have to go right uh -huh. now. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> she just stands there, arms crossed over her chest, just um, giving you like best teacher look. Well, you you never invite me to your dinner parties. <laughs> Just ask. I cannot impress how much I cannot do that. <laughs> On like a spiritual level. <laughs> hey, what if you roll 2d6? I'll do it. Because <laughs> I haven't gotten to do much that much today. <laughs> Let me do it. I rolled a nine. A nine? Watching yeah. you. Alright. As you two are having this conversation. The next door neighbor on the Valdez's. Oh, Val Valdez? Is that what I wrote? Valdez. Valdez. It, uh, I, I double checked. I was gonna say, don't you have a map? I do, but I wasn't looking at the last name. I was looking at the first name in front of me. You do I don't remember map, but... what the last name was. A very tall man walks across, and you know him as Roman. He is six six, with deeply tanned skin, pitch black hair. And brown eyes that you he, you've seen him put in the contacts before for so you know it's not his natural color. He walks over to you. Is everything all right over here, ladies? Yes, it's fine. It, it was just some raised voices. I get always I always get a little concerned, you know. You know I'm just loud. I know it. It's just my work. It always makes me a bit suspicious when I hear too much loud yelling. It's just my voice. It's not yelling. We have everything under control here. <laughs> and Roman's just gonna kind of look at you and go, You sure about that, Jody? Cause it's boring. I have to go <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think I left the oven on. I'm gonna go. <laughs> As Jody runs inside, Roman turns to look at you, uh, Marielle, and goes, I have, a, I have one of your old students right now in, in court with me. What happened? Somebody, uh, a couple grade levels up from you, you know, the mandatory reporters. Oh, that's that's a good. shitty, shitty fucking father. It's okay. He comes in courts and testifies, and if he even looks at his kid, I'll fucking knock his lights out. Good. Just figured I'd tell you I've got I've got little Dante there. Poor kid. I'll check in on him. You're a good woman, and Jody is too. Incredibly awkward. woman awkward doesn't even begin to describe it that's fair she, she's trying she does I think she, she walks the neighborhood don't really see much of the point it's a quiet place I'd eh. honestly love to see someone try to start something but well mainly because I know my wife would destroy them yeah yeah Claudia has always been a bit of a Strong world woman. <sighs> you have a nice day, Mariella. Sorry to bother you. Just nah, you you know you're not bothering me. 
Especially when it's about one of my kids. He'll be okay. He's got one damn good boy. Thank God for that. <laughs> it's not God's doing. And as he says that, he turns and walks away. And Mayella, as he walks away, you feel that kind of burn in your chest you do that sometimes when your powers work up. And the flash of emotion that runs around him is much stronger than most people. But you see him walk back inside. And you're just left standing on the sidewalk in front of Jody's, as you assume. She's either gone to hide so you can't see her, or she is watching you from a window. <sighs> kind of just waves it off and just walks away. <laughs> Alright. We've made it oh, one man. round through. Jill, give me a number again. Three. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining Jody's still with the book in the curtain. Hold on, hold on. I got it. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I know I trust it when Jace goes running. Jace has prop comedy. Connor's I... doing shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she was trapped between, like, by her job, not being able to say anything, and also not being able to lie. It's just... I think my oven is on. I have to go. Wow, my <laughs> legs hurt that one. a lot, actually. Yeah. That's why I didn't do that one. That's why we're not <laughs> for Alright, well, I rolled based on what Jill said, and Michelle, I got you again. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, All we're right. gonna do your guaranteed scene instead. Okay, that's fine. And that way you'll step one more scene. Mariella, you're sitting at home one night. Ollie's off doing something. You're Ollie not things? sure what. Yeah. Yeah. You've learned yep. that it's best not to trust them to do things on their own. But at the same time, you trust them. Hmm. I can't really control them so much. Sitting there watching bad romantic comedies as you're known to do. When your phone starts to ring. When you pick it up, it's your mother's name. Ay, ay, ay. Pick it up. Hello, mommy. Hello, Mariella. Well, aren't you going to ask me how I'm doing? How are you doing? I'm quite well. And how are you and your son? Is he still doing well in school? They're doing quite well. Hmm. Then I imagine he'll be fine. They will be. Anyways, I'm just calling to check in on you because I know as a single mother, sometimes you struggle. I'm doing good. We're doing hmm. good. Are you sure you don't need any help? I'm. Lucas better be giving you enough child support. Lucas is doing his job. It's fine. It would probably be much easier if you two were still living together. It, 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 I'm not... We get into this conversation every time you call. And it would not every be time easier. I would like to remind you, you are not doing it the proper way. You stay with them regardless. She's just like... It's... <laughs> As her mom is talking, she's just doing the faces. No, 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 you don't. See, I don't. With you and Bobby, I don't care. You know, I don't know what goes on with you guys. I don't. But there's only so much a person can take. And there was there was a point, and that point came and went, and I had to not. I could not be there anymore. And now and you know that. I told you is, that every single time. And now your son is suffering and going through. My son is doing- my son, my child is doing just fine. Well, have you heard Cisco has made top spot on the lacrosse team that the two of them are on? Again. Dun, 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 dun. Good for Cisco. Good for him, I guess. 
I that's fine. I'm happy. Your sister's doing good as well, in case you were wondering. I'm sure she is. She's always doing well. Now, I the actual reason I called. I'm going to an estate sale. And I'm okay. sure they'll have new, lovely, lovely things to buy. Do you need new furniture? I've seen what you have at your place, and it's... What I have at my place is quite... It's good. And it does the job. And I like it. But it's all mismatched. You need better. Mismatched is fine. It's my style. That's not a style. That's poverty. <laughs> no. I... Mommy, I just because it's not what you like does not mean it's not a style. Regardless, I'm going to pick you up some stuff at this estate sale. Oh, okay. You'll Good. come get it during the family reunion. Remember, you and your son oh. are expected to come, but you're welcome to bring anyone else you like. I don't. I don't. Ay, Dios mío, I, I, mm. And as per usual, your husband will be invited, but he will likely not show up like he hasn't the last several. Yeah, because he probably, you know, we when you divorce, you don't stick around with the family that's weird it's weird to get it divorced a good catholic it's woman not... wouldn't do that oh. hey mommy i haven't been a good catholic woman for a very long time i'm sorry <laughs> you and your sister will need to come to church with us when we go when you come up for the family so, reunion no i wouldn't say that right now no I will go to the family reunion. Your father will be I'm... very disappointed. I'm used to f disappointing him, so it's fine. You you already disappointed him when you had your son start acting like that after you named him after him. Hollywood, my... Hmm. Acting like what, mommy? You know what he's doing. See, the fact that you don't accept... Ali is the way they are. You know, it doesn't surprise me. Never accepted me. And I'm... You know, I had to always have everything perfect for you. I can't I can't do that. And, and to expect them to do anything... No, they're not... I would much rather have them be happy. Living their life the way they choose to. They're not hurting anyone. Well... Uh, they're not hurting anyone. Doesn't deserve it. Uh, they would be happy in a good Catholic life as well. No, they wouldn't. I was not happy in a good Catholic life. I'm quite happy in my life now. We'll talk about this when you come up for the family reunion and she hangs okay. up. Okay. Okay. Just another phone call that you have with your mother on a near monthly basis. Hey, one day oh. I will not answer the phone. Hey, can we commit a person? Holy murder? shit! Can we do an? Can we kill another person? Oh, I have my axe. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, yeah. Mariela's mother is abhorrent. <laughs> In uh, case you guys didn't know. Con uh, Connor desperately wants Wayland to be. Just nearby to hear parts <laughs> of the phone call in one of those scenes at one point, because I'm telling oh, you right he... now, bad things would happen, but funny things would happen. After the call is over, Ollie walks in. He probably sees you on the couch holding your phone. <sighs> Hello, Mama. Why do you answer the phone? Because she'll call constantly if I don't. And I'd rather not have. I'd rather just pull the band-aid off. Or we could change your phone number. I keep telling you this. It's have you met my mother? You've met my mother. She yes. will figure it out. I'm going to hold on to that comment because you get mad at me when I make those comments. Um... Yes, she 
will try and she will probably find it. She can't talk to you if she can't speak. Um, sorry. Yeah, um, Ali. Ali. I know. Trust me. I know. I understand. Especially fucking bitch. Constantly misgenders you. And that's what makes me the maddest. She didn't say all her shit to me. I don't care. The fact that she doesn't let you... She doesn't... The way I... she talks about you is just... Mama. I, I get it. It's just... I... It's okay. It's... You know we have to go see her, right? No. We have a family reunion coming no. up. And we have to go. No. No. Yes. No. Ali, you have to go. Ali. No. Ali. No. no. Ali. Mama. Ali. I'll make you a deal. I can start a cult <laughs> if I go to the family reunion. And I sure. will enslave them and keep them as my slaves for all eternity. <laughs> Ali. Can we, can, please. It's, it's a good look. It's a good option. You can use your mother as a human punching bag for a while for all of the pain and suffering, <laughs> right? Um, look, I... Look, I know. I know. I don't want to go either. But if I don't go, she's going to show up here out of nowhere. And at least in this way, I can control it. I mean, and she, I can... Was, we here, can we we drive there. We, I can't... Just saying. I, we can drive there, be there the absolute minimum, and then leave. Mind you, this is what Michelle does at parties. Mm. I drive there purposely because I can talk. During this conversation, the lady over your shoulder goes, We should bring Lizard. I mean, and Jody and Waylon, and just let them go. Can you imagine the chaos if you let Lizard go at your grandmother's house? Hey, Mama. Yeah. Is it like the last time where where that evil wannabe hag uh, actually said that we could bring other people? She said that. Of course, she always says that. She never means it, but she says it. So we could bring some friends right yes of course who do you want right. to bring i mean we have <coughs> we have an interesting group of friends now you know like lizard and jody and you know Mayland. you know what's funny is that i'm pretty sure she never actually means it but um Maybe we take her up on it. Want to never get invited to one of these awful meetings ever again? Yes. Actually, very much so. Okay. Well, yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Look, I, she I, also I, said I, she I'll invited my your deal. father. Change my deal. If she we also can said bring she all invited of them. your father, by the way. No. I. You know, he never shows up. He's not going to show up. It's going to be fine. He's never shown okay. up. It's fine. Well, yeah, no, he never shows up to anything. Well, well, it's weird that she invites him anyway. We've been divorced for a while now. And yet oh she still god. considers him. Oh my god. It's a whole weird It's a whole Catholicism thing. You don't divorce. You don't there, there's no divorce in you know, Catholic Church. There's no mint, but no divorce. There was, there was a wait, there was a there was a there was a, a king that got divorced, right? Yeah, that's why he started Mortal his bugs. own church. He started his own church because the Catholics would not let him. No, that, that, that's legitimate. That's true. Well, then, yeah, then was... we should it, again. This leads to the whole cult thing, Ma, Mama. I'm telling you, we, we could solve all of these issues. It could even okay. it, we could we could even be tax exempt. Uh, as this starts, the lady just kind of sits on behind you and goes, "I think I've had a cult before." It's not as hard to run as you think. Mama, hold on just a moment. I'm having one of one of my brainstorms. Ollie's going to step back into his head. 
you had a cult and you're just now bringing this up. I don't remember things. You know this. I have to have things trigger memories. We need to follow this. Right, this we need. This needs to be a thing. <laughs> put, put a pin in this one. We are having. We are. We are having this conversation. I think we need another cult. Mm, I like this. Maybe idea. not when, when we don't have most of our memories. <laughs> this is only only in ollie's head this whole scene only in ollie's head um clearly because mom's not here now um <laughs> but, you know this hasn't happened in a while which is like the most upsetting thing i know okay let's put a pin in it let's we'll workshop it because i i like this idea Anyway, yeah, okay, we'll invite Ali, yeah. we'll invite, we'll invite them. Sure. You know what? Might make it more bearable. I, th I think it will. <laughs> Out of character real quick, Jessica has this image of Lizard at this party with all this chaos and screaming going on, making a TikTok and going, family dinner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's absent. You have done a very good job of making me genuinely fucking furious at a character. <laughs> this I... will not be the best one. Nope. nope. Oh, we'll, this, this, we'll... this this bitch is a bitch. <laughs> fun, fun fact, my, my father comes from an Irish Catholic family, and so did my grandmother. But the difference is my grandmother, an Irish Catholic woman, married a Frenchman. Ah, uh, Protestants. Ah yes, uh, and that boy, must have been fun. the the great grandparents fucking hated her for it. Yeah, so yeah, that's familiar. This, this entire thing is just yeah, yeah, yeah. And add Cubans on top. Add Cub. Oh yeah. Add the Cuban thing on top of that. It's uh, is it is it a bad thing to make I don't know a demon possess that old bitch? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say no to a little bit of murder, you know? Just like, it's I'm, so okay glad everyone I'm so glad everyone I'm so it glad. It is. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Holly's bringing reinforcements this time. Again, as I said, she will, she, she doesn't actually mean it, but she also will not deny bringing us people because that's hey, not Hey, she polite. said it. That's her own fault. I'm she's ready not, to loom over some Cuban. <laughs> she, <laughs> she is. She, her politeness will override any sort of instinct to not let people in. So, all right. Let's get into the next one. I'm going to roll a d4 because there's four of you. Becca, would you like your guaranteed scene or would you like to just roll another yes, one? Yes, because I don't. <laughs> so, do you I want your guaranteed or do you want to roll? Uh, we can do our guaranteed. Right. That sounds fun. It's about midday. You're sitting on your front porch. Kind of sunny, kind of nice out. Which is not shocking. You live in Florida. It is still humid. But it's nice. And you're reading through the case files that you have left over from Mystery 1. You've got an entire box of those medical files that belong to all the victims. You've got information on the sheriff. Information on the doctor. Information on the bartender, although you have not gotten to those three yet. And as you're looking down at your paperwork, you just kind of notice the things that bother you. And as you get to the sheriff's paper, you notice it looks like he had a lot of correspondence with someone outside of the city. Which you know is pretty weird considering everything you know. And you Make sure to note it down. And I am vamping because I have to find your character sheet <laughs> so I can get this character's name. <laughs> oh, I'll do that as well. <laughs> There's this uh, dog that just starts running across the road. <laughs> Liz probably let it go to see if he'd go chasing after it. Name. No oh. Pac-Man. Tell me right that you're sitting there <laughs> reading and you're oh, making a oh. note and highlighting this, the familiar voice of Oscar your mentor from no, <laughs> Jill, never. shut the fuck up. I can see you mouthing it. The Grouch? 
from the garbage? <laughs> Oscar stands over you and just kind of smiles and goes, Hard at work, even on your days off. What? What? You're yes? reading police files in your off time, Jody. It's, I mean, it's relaxing. It's not hard work. We've talked about this. You need to take time off. I... I do. I've... already exercised today. Was exercising going to the gun range? Part of it. And he's so... just gonna sit down in the chair across from you. Where did you come from? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, I'm from the parts. But I'm here today because I got told you had a really interesting case. Yeah. We, uh, I had to go check out this blueberry festival um, where some kids were disappearing around. Well, that town, I mean. Um, found some pretty. Pretty fucked up stuff, but uh, we took care of it. Nothing, yeah, nothing the, the old gun show can't take care of. <laughs> you gotta quit calling your arms that, Jody. Honey. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I have With one joke. Teenagers are gonna make fun of you. At least they're laughing, right? I'll give you that one. And he's just gonna kind of look over the case files and goes, "What was it? Werewolf? Silky?" Uh, something I've never seen before. A giant one-eyed mole. You got it's a kinda, picture? It's kind of goopy. Um, do I have a picture? You still have the book from the town. Okay. I, I show him, I flip open the book and show him. He's gonna look at it for a minute and... Jody, you know I hate doing this to you. And he's gonna close the book and set it in down and go, I need those files from you. But, sir. This is level five pay grade. You're not at that clearance yet. Fine. Here you go. And he's gonna take the box, kind of pat it on the top and go, You'll be there soon, but there are things you're still not ready to know yet. And he's just going to kind of put his hand on your shoulder. And as he does, you see the large tattoos that go down his arms. And the one that always catches your eye. A long sword that goes all the way down his forearm with a blazing sun behind the hilt. Draws your eye like it does every time. That reminds me. Light says hello? Really now. Yeah. Old bastard's showing his face again. And it just kind of shakes his head. Well, I'll get this back to you when you get clearance level. But until then, when you work well, cases, you know I gotta take the ones that are above you. I guess. Just don't really know what's so high level about a mole. And he's gonna kind of... <clears throat> Give me a 2d6 roll. Six. That's what you needed. I was about to say you needed half and half. Oh, neat. <laughs> and he's gonna go... It's not about the mole itself. It's about where it comes from. I see. And he's gonna look at you and go, you realize this thing ain't... Well, I know most of what we deal with ain't natural, but even compared to most of what we deal with, this is unusual. I don't know, it just seemed like a big monster with some weird goop coming out of it. Sometimes a weird monster is not just a weird mutation. It was something mm -hmm. else somewhere before. 
It's alright. You did the job, though. Things like that can't remain. Not if it's gonna endanger people. And he's gonna pat your shoulder again and pick up the box. Do you need anything? I'm, uh... I'm good for now, I think. But it's always nice to see you. We'll be seeing again soon. I've got a... I've got a couple cases here local. Something about animal attacks. You know, that's always a hot button word for werewolves. <laughs> Let me know if you need any help. Don't worry. I will. And he's gonna pick up the box and walk down the stairs and stop and go. I may have a couple leads for you here soon. About the vampire. Ah. Interesting. Can't guarantee it, but I'm hearing whispers about something. Hmm. Haven't had a lead in a while. No, no, we haven't. You have a good day there, Jody. You as well. Stay He's safe out there. Walk off down the road, shove the box into his car, and go off. Leaving you without work. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I guess I patrol the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, creepily watch Jody. Oh, not Jody, Mariella. Oh, oh. yeah, be a creep. And I go back to the like... <laughs> Let me roll real quick to see. We still got another half hour. A oh, one, that's Connor. Connor, do you have a scene you want to do? Or would you rather do your guaranteed scene? Um, I don't really have anything in mind off the top of my head. No. Alright. Then I'm gonna do your guaranteed scene. Waylon, it's late at night. You don't keep normal human hours, but you're in your RV after probably a week or so after the hardware store trip with Ollie I'm putting away stuff and just cleaning up in general and you're just digging through your stuff moon rocks go there book of truth goes there bandages up there and as you go to pull open the weapon drawer it feels lighter than it should I'm going to check my weapon drawer. You pull it out, and there's a big empty spot. But there's a note. What is it? Pick up the note. You'll see this again soon. Just need to borrow it. T. This wouldn't be so alarming if the weapon that was missing wasn't... potentially very dangerous. Supposedly, it's a holy gun that's older than the creation of guns itself. It's holy aura it gives off is known to repel demons pretty well. And, again, because of its weird timeline, you also know it was somehow used during the Holy Crusades. No one's really sure how that happened, or why, but it existed. Wow, this is our last book. Huh. As you're sitting one? here contemplating Who your missing weapon. Who the hell want weapon, that old thing anyways? If I have square bullets. There's a knock at your door. You know this that sounded nice. Uh, Waylon will put the weapon drawer away, lock it. 
Uh, and uh, when we'll go over to the door and open it up. And much to your dismay, you see your neighbor, Jerome. Old, withered, white dude. He only stands around 5'5 five, five anymore with his walker out in front of him, which is definitely what he hit the door with. 70 years old. And he's glaring up at you. You gotta have those fucking lights on in the middle of the night. You gonna knock on my door with that shitty ass walker? I paid good money to live in this neighborhood and not be disturbed in the middle of the night. Damn shame. So did I. Apparently, more than you. Mm, I know, you get to keep this monstrosity here. It's ugling up the neighborhood. Damn shame. Got a problem with it? Go take it up with HOA. I'm sure they'll do something. You know as well as I do, I have. Keep barking up that tree, old man. Maybe one day something will happen. Fucking communists running this goddamn neighborhood. You know, we lost that wall, right? <laughs> yeah, we lost it because America's great. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly a word for it, isn't it? Great. And as you two are having this discussion, you hear, Dad, get, get back over here. And a younger guy, probably about 30, runs over and walks over and grabs his father's shoulders and he just looks up at you and mouths the word, I'm so sorry. And goes, Dad, you know you're supposed to be in bed by this point. Howdy, youngster. And you know this as Eugene. He is very tall, 6'2", very slim build, that strong jawline with a good bit of stubble, gray eyes and wavy brown hair that you probably guessed he got from his mother, considering his father is very bald. Uh, this is, uh, just, a, just to double check it, which, which, uh, household is this? This is the Bakers. That's the Bakers? Yeah. <laughs> Doing a lot of whining from all the way over there. And Jordan's gonna go, I'm fine, I don't need to go bed yet, and he jerks off his son's shoulder arms, or at least tries to, but he is a very weak old man. And Eugene goes, yeah, but mom wants you in bed, you know how she gets. And he's looking up at you and just shaking his head at uh, Waylon will just kind of shrug at the young guy. Now that he's here, he'll probably be a touch. Maybe. And he's just gonna pat his dad, and his dad will go, fine. Mother is always bitching at me. And just walks down the road. And Eugene sits. I'm trying Never to put easy. him home. I'm sorry. You know I'm trying. Yeah. It's totally fine. Not the first time I've had complaints. Not the first time I've had people piss at me. It'll never be the last. Trust me. No, You'll understand least, it once you get to my point, kid. At least you he had to burn down your garden. <laughs> you tried that before? No, he didn't burn down yours. He tried to burn down Miss Louisa's. <laughs> Uh, Boy, why am I not you, surprised by that one? Because you're not, if you can't remember names. Louisa is the old woman that gave the fruits and vegetables to Yeah, Louisa Jody is the, uh, the old woman with a, what was her last name again? Louisa uh, Martinez. Ah, yes. I know why he did it. <laughs> hey, pick up on that one quick. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And he's like, thank God the Millers were there. I was at work. I, how do you do this? Not take care of elderly parents. You're busy all the time. How do you have time for anything? Oh boy, that's a tough one. Um, I don't have a good answer for you, boy. I, sorry, I gotta stop doing that. Um, I got lucky. That's the best way of putting it. Connor, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to interrupt you for one second. Jill, you have got to stop putting the M&M's in that. It's it's so distracting. He's eating! <laughs> He's hungry! He hungry! He hungry! I'm not gonna lie. If I break character, it's usually because of Jill. Cause I, oh, she's no. right in the I center. know it is. 
I, I'm actively watching the Discord webcams as I'm talking so I can monitor people's reactions. And yeah, it's hard to miss Jill giving uh, M&Ms to the goddamn... Midget. Baby Yoda! Your Baby favorite Ray. character, Connor! Uh, back into the sea. Yeah, to be completely honest, I got lucky. I try to be, keep myself busy because when you retire early, that's what you should probably be doing. Past that point, I just take care of what I can. I will say I do get where you're coming from, though. It's never easy to have to take care of an uh, elderly parent. When did you lose yours? Oh, well, that's my mom about, uh... gosh, it's been a while now. She died when she was about 64, I think. So, it's a fair amount of time ago. Dad kept going. He's still alive, actually. That's not not to sound rude, sir, but that's impressive considering your age. <laughs> I won't take offense. Don't worry. <laughs> He's about eighty-nine right now, if I recall correctly. Probably gonna have to pop by for his ninetieth birthday and have a chat with my family. That'll be fun. But. Apparently the old man's doing well. Made some new friends over at the uh, old folks' home. That are good to see. Is he as a... And he's gonna look down at the road where his dad is still hobbling towards the house because he is old. He has definitely not made it back yet. Opinionated? Hmm. Well... No. And to be completely honest, it took me a little while to figure out why. But I finally figured it out. Uh, family stuff happened, and uh, it makes sense now. Okay. Um, so. But, no, don't, don't apologize. It's nothing bad, just wasn't what I was expecting. But... Opinionated to that degree? No. Opinionated is always stubborn. Can be a pain in the ass at times. Not much you can do about that. It just. I need to take sucks. a deep breath. It's hard. Yeah. Gotta lie yeah. so much to him. Yeah. You will. I fully expect people to lie to me when I get to that point. Only yeah. so much you can do. Yeah. Well, maybe if I get lucky, we'll get them into the home in the next six months and you can meet my boyfriend. <laughs> hey, see? Gotta keep positive. You have a good night, sir. I'm sorry you to bother well, you. man. Enjoy your day. And, uh... stiff up a lip, I suppose. Eventually, you'll be able to live your life the way you want to. But... Gonna start my life when you're again at 30, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, apparently that happens a lot. Yeah. Thank you. And he's gonna walk down the road, catch up to his dad. Uh, Waylon will kind of scratch his neck slightly and then just kind of shake his head and chuckle at the, uh, the young man. Uh, just kind of smile on himself and just go, if only you a new boy. Okay. And with that, okay. we've got two people left. We'll probably have to do at least another session, or at least half a session of Between the Mysteries. Because uh, I want to jump first. I'm not going to roll on this because I would like to finish some, how we've gotten this timed out on Ollie's. We're going to do Lizard's required event first. Lizard, again, it's late at night because you are a nocturnal creature. Yeah. You're sitting at your computer, scrolling through, computer, phone, 
you know, as one does. It was young. Twitter on both. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Connor, you okay? <laughs> I just I just looked in the in the Discord and I just saw the fucking Constantine picture that Jill posted. Uh, that's exactly what I thought of. I said it's that good. Fucking insane. That was literally what I was about to put. You're like, holy god, I I'm like I got it. You're both the worst. Um I had to make it fire square bullets though. It was either that or the automatic uh crossbow from Van Helsing. Just <sighs> I just it, saw her notes on Jody too. <laughs> <laughs> as Lizard, as you're scrolling, you are deciding to check over to your Twitter messages. You leave them open because honestly, you don't care. I'd like to see somebody send me hate. Someone asking for nudes, delete. Someone asking delete. if they can collab with you. Kind of a known creator. Ignore for right now. Leave on red. So they know where I stand. I'm more powerful than them. Uh, product brand that you don't support, asking for your support. Delete. Update email. Wow. This. Jill, hold on. Your internet's. Uh, uh, internet. <laughs> start. <laughs> Give it a second. Okay, I think you caught back up. You're moving. Okay. We I'm just vibing. As you're scrolling through, scrolling Sick. through, scrolling through, delete, 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 getting new messages as you go. A name pops up that kind of catches your eye because you know it is fairly old computer language type, but you also know it because you were there during the horrible days of when the Homestuck fandom was around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't you bring that evil here. Don't you put that evil on me. <laughs> and it's just a simple message that Life? says, Do you accept our friendship? This is gonna sound weird. I watched a documentary about this exact <laughs> okay, concept to get to literally that yesterday. Minute. Like after session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, hmm. Uh, this is not legally binding, so I will. Uh, Lizard will respond. Sure. And before you get away, you can see typing pop well, up again. Sure. <laughs> oh God! And this doing time, this. message says, "Will you accept the gift?" <laughs> Respond. Oh, is it my Amazon wish list? This is how the Homestuck apocalypse begins. <laughs> and she's gonna, you're gonna see the words back. Haha, -ha. it's an art tablet. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you accept the gift? Y yeah. Yes. Will you be the artist? Yes. What's the pay rate? <laughs> What's it for? Is it a laughter, comic? Or I don't know how to animate. Laughter comes back again and goes, you'll see soon enough. Take the tablet and answer me later. And as that message sends and you read it, you hear on your door. Amazon Prime's getting really fast these days. <laughs> Unless it's going to open the door. There's just a box sitting on your doorstep. Addressed to you. Lizard uh, Erickson. Yep. Uh huh. Badoink. That's mine now, I guess. Just because I'm paranoid, Lizard does not say thank you. <laughs> There's no thank yous involved. I ain't fucking with that. Are you gonna open it? <laughs> well, yeah. When you open it, what you thought would be like a drawing tablet for a computer. It's actually just a sketchbook with a set of beautiful charcoals. Fucking duped on the internet again. <laughs> Another sketchbook I'm never gonna fill up. Do you flip Great. it open? 
Yeah, like you usually do when you get a sketchbook, you flip through the pages as you, for funsies. As you flip it open, you see a note on the inside. Oh, oh, oh. You'll un- the plot thickens. You'll understand what this does soon enough. Keep it on you. Lizard's gonna balance it on her shoulder. I don't think that's practical. Keep it on me. It's- Nobody's around to laugh at my joke. <sighs> it is still signed with <laughs> life and has a PS below it that says keep a close eye on the lady. <laughs> okay, okay. Lizard's mentally going through all the ladies. <laughs> she all like, the single ladies? Okay. <laughs> all the single ladies. Put your hands up. Um, this has to mean Jody. <laughs> in, no, in, no, in no world am I supposed to be looking at anybody but Jody. Okay, yeah. Yep, Are you yes. going to do anything else Got with it. It before you put it up? Uh, I mean, do the initial, like... When you get a sketchbook and you're like, I don't want to just leave it sit for a while, so I'm going to do one drawing in the middle of the first page. Uh, just a... Oh. Mm. Ha. Who? Hmm. It's gonna be... Give me a minute. A, a worm? Like a normal little worm that you find in the dirt? You know what oh, I'm pointing yeah. at. <laughs> As you finish <laughs> my worm. With the final touches with the charcoal on it, you look up and you admire it. And you go to shut the sketchbook and it won't close. You flip it back open. And what was sitting on the page is now a real worm on the string. And then you does on the front cover. Figured it out quickly, didn't you? Don't worry. You can only use it once a day. And I used it on a worm! <laughs> and below it, it has a PS. It's not Jody you need to watch. Ariella? I don't. She seems so nice! <laughs> And not at all a werewolf. Jill, I'm so happy you didn't draw a penis. <laughs> it was one of the options, but I had a feeling I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Just, he closed the book and there's a floppy cup. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not what this is to be used for. Worst, Worst oh god ever. Worst 3D printer ever. No, I don't want I don't want this. <laughs> no. Just no. And then you're just like, how do I get rid of it this? It. But before you actually Your neighbors look out the window, you're throwing out a giant cock into the trash. <laughs> uh, before you throw the book to the side for the moment, and you're thinking, it can't be my own, it can't be. And you're holding the worm, the worm starts to twitch on its own. Uh uh, Very faint. Uh, much. I'm. I'm. I'm just tired. I'm just I'm tired. Lizard is saying loud in their own home alone, going, I'm just tired. It's not moving. I'm tired. As you go to close up your computer for the night, I'm assuming still holding. The strange you <laughs> absolutely still holding the worm at a at a There's distance. There's one last message from life. At a distance. Did you not think that's what would happen with the name I have? You know, Blizzard's gonna type back. I am not <laughs> smart. I know this, <laughs> but hey, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Let's close the laptop. <laughs> so, we're done. We're not. We're not dealing with it anymore. When you wake up the next morning, the string is gone, and all that's left is a little pile of the charcoal that you drew it with. Oh man, he died. <laughs> oh no. Uh, quick summarizing, because I'll write this up eventually. The artist tablet, which is what this is called. Once a day, you can draw any object, and you have it. 
if it is meant to imitate a real life thing, as long as it is not too large, it will become real. It will be whatever the size of the drawing is in the tablet. It, the living thing will disappear after a day. You can only use it once a mystery. And I want to get attached to immediately. Mm. I, I was very attached to that worm and now he's dead. Life is fleeting. What? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. This is so much emotional turmoil. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Ollie. Ollie, have you ever heard you mentioned you wanted to meditate? Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny because that was something that was mentioned in this scene. So you're sitting down. No, no. You take that out. It just, it just out. dabbed, okay? If you don't see that. <laughs> yes. Nope. Don't know what you're talking about. Ollie, as you're sitting there, quietly meditating. The lady across from you, also meditating. What's this supposed to do? You know, they talk about something where it's like focusing your chi, but I don't think I have any chi. No, I feel like that's an Asian thing. Yeah. You're Cuban. I... Well, half. Yeah. We have shadows? That doesn't feel like the same thing, though. That's supposed to be, like, calming your mind or, or whatever. I mean, I'm the Lady of the Shadows. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so, like, you are the Shadows, right? I think we are one in the same, yeah. Yeah. So, I would have the Shadows in... I guess you would have the Shadows? Look, I don't, I don't know. It, it's... It's supposed to be this thing where y you you get, stop having all of the thoughts go through your head, and then something, 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 you're supposed to see clearly whatever it is you're thinking of. I, I don't know. But, like, if you're having trouble thinking of, like, where the tower was, and whether it was, you know, BC or AD, that might be the thing that it might help. I, I don't know. I have an idea. She's no, gonna we're not. Me. We're not jumping off the fifty foot. We, we, no, no, we nothing this bad this time. We got that part figured out. Gonna hold out her hands. Join hands. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Let's do this meditation thing while this is happening. Okay. And as you let your mind clear, you can feel hers clear as well. And for the first time in a long time, you felt calm. And then a burning pain enters your skull. And the lady rips her hands away and just grabs her hand and goes... <sighs> and she does that. And as she does, flashes of memories flash in your own mind. The first is a night. You're dancing with someone who absolutely radiates warmth who's smiling at you and you can read the lips the making some sort of sly joke flashes to another one elizabethan clothing if you're remembering from history right your mom would kill you if you didn't it's a pair of lovers holding hands looking around stepping out into the light about to be seen and a shadow walks over them and they make it away slipping away without getting caught as it, they do, you feel a hand on the back of you walk up. And a woman you recognize is the woman who's met your mother in the school that day. Thank you. And the memory fades to another one. This time you're having a drink with someone very calm. But sitting there, they have a lot of just presence. They're unnaturally handsome. And it flashes again, this time to what looks to be a schoolroom. Kind of a nerdy looking androgynous sort. Standing there, drumming their fingers against their face. And going, no, that won't work. Try something else. We have to find out. And then it fades to another one. And this time it fades to what seems to be a brilliant, kind looking feminine person smiling at you holding what seems to be a bunny 
she hands it out to you and goes, I created this today. Isn't it beautiful? And this memory fades too. And you come back. The lady's still clenching her head. Fall up. Uh... Okay. Note to self. Don't hold hands with myself because then I get headaches. What the fuck was that? I, I... I don't... I don't know. I think they're my memories, but... They would have... They would have... Okay. They would have to be. I have literally never been in, around, by, seen, touched Victorian clothing ever. It just, it doesn't feel like me. Feel, well, it does, but it feels like there's something missing. Something different. <sighs> okay. Okay. Does so, what headaches feel like? Yep, yeah, that's, that's one of those. No wonder your mother complains so much about them. Yeah, yeah. Why? That's why, that's why we were trying the healing thing for so long. I think we can still get it at some point, maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay. So. Oh, now my head hurts. Um. Okay. Okay. So if. So if that was you. But that was like past you. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's what's missing. Maybe that was you, but like, it's not you now because you're missing those memories. So you've had a hard like reset. Maybe. So, like, and you might not even be the same person that you were back then, but maybe this is a thing where, uh, like, like, I, like, you know, you, you think of, like, uh, those movies that we've watched where it's the person who, like, they hit their head and, like, oh, they were the bad guy once, but, like, they came back and all of a sudden, hey, like I'm a good guy now. And then, but then the bad guys show up and they're like, hey, so you were a bad guy once. And the person's like, well, maybe I was in the past, but I'm not now because I'm a new person. Oh, it's like that sitcom your mother watched, Samantha Who. Yeah, I think something like that. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't watch those. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. That's an actual go... show. She is correct. Yeah, I had to go for a deep cut. Sorry. Look, something, maybe something like that, you know, and not, and honestly, none of those seemed bad. Those all seemed good. Who were those people though? Well, we knew one of them. Yeah, we really got to find her. We really, really have to find her. But she maybe. thanked you. So, like, clearly you did something to help her that she couldn't do. Maybe your mother will know. She was seeing her. I, th I think we should ask. Jill, I'll cut you. I don't know what you're doing, but Connor's laughing. And I um. always assume it's you. Anyway, uh, okay, so one, we have a lot of work to do on defragging this hard drive that is your memory, which is going to hurt. I think. But we can figure it out. Two, we got to start working on that veil thing like right away. 
because I already have an idea. You clearly could do that before. I, I think as I remember more, the more we'll be able to do. Yeah. So we got to work on that one. Three. We. You know what? I just, I, I think three. We get Mexican cola. Well, yeah, that's not, that's not even on the, come on, that's not even on the list. You know this. Okay. I like, and I think it's reassuring that you did a lot of good stuff in the past. So us doing good stuff now makes even doubly more sense, right? Maybe all I'm remembering is the good, though. Maybe I'm not letting myself remember the bad. <laughs> God Michelle. damn it. <laughs> I, I don't know how they come back. I don't know if I was a good person. I don't think I was a bad person. I don't think it really matters now, does it? Like no. you said, that's you, but not you. Right? So if that was you then it's not you now. But if you learned to do good things and you had good things that you were doing before, maybe now we can focus on those Topic and actually nice keep focusing on helping people, right? I like helping people. Yeah, so do I. That's why we're doing this. The dirt can hide horrible things, but we can also hide good things like we did that couple yeah i did Hi. it's gonna take some getting used to to think about that as me i mean it, it was you but if it's too hard to think about that way maybe it's, it's not even necessarily you now i feel like i was different i don't know how but in some way i feel like i've Oh, what's the term from that video games? When you die and come back. Revived? Respawned? Yeah. Maybe you should go to bed. We both need some rest after that. Yeah. Let's go grab a couple Cokes first. Yeah, and we need them. Gonna, yeah, I was going to stand up downstairs and grab a couple cooks from the fridge All right and that is where we will cut it i'm gonna discuss maybe with the players if they want to do another between the mystery events but since we hit all the key events we don't have to unless you guys want to we can move on straight into the next mystery next session if you would like but all of that said and done i would like to thank everyone who came in and watched tonight i know this is a little bit of a weirder concept but between the mysteries are important, and they like groundwork for later things, and they're fun. We get to watch Jody be socially awkward. It's great. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Please make sure to tune in tomorrow for our Saturday game of Dungeons and Dragons. We will be back on Tuesday after that to play some games. We also play games, of course, Friday nights when we aren't streaming Monster of the Week, and Connor streams Wednesday nights, playing whatever he feels like at any given time. Basically. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you guys again. Say bye, stream. Bye, stream. Bye, stream. Bye, stream. Bye, stream.